hope y'all are having a great day. Thanks for joining me and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a little layout. Um, I am trying to get rid of some of my stash, you guys. As you all know, my goal is to bash some of my stash this year. So um, I am using, again, the Hello Spring uh, collection. And um, I am going to be doing a little... Um, couple of layouts using some of these super cute photos that were from the tulip farm that we went to um, when Remini was really little. <laughs> I have some more photos, um, but I have to print them out. So I'm just going to use what I have right now and then I'll print out the rest of them. Uh, but um, I'm just going to fast forward through this and, you know, probably walk you guys through a little bit here and there um, about what I'm doing, but it's pretty quick. Uh, video. So, um, but I just wanted to give you guys some ideas. So, uh, and um, I'll be using some of my dies and some other things that I have in my stash uh, because I also joined the Bash Your Stash Facebook group. And right now they're having the Bash Bowl, which I think I mentioned a couple of times on my videos and my live uh, Friday night lives. And they're doing a bash bowl, and my team is the Scrappin' Banshees. And so I'm uh, I'm kind of behind. I haven't, it started Thursday for the second round, and I haven't done anything. So today's Saturday, you guys. So I'm going to try to bash out a couple of pages uh, uh, for them. So, <laughs> so wish me luck. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'm using. Uh, first, I'm using a 12 by 12, 10 pound cardstock sheet. Um, I like to have my base pages be a little bit more heavy, just because if I'm putting a lot of layers and photos on top of everything, um, I want it to be a lot sturdy -er for to hold everything. So I used 110 pound cardstock for this layout um, and most of my layouts. <laughs> so. Okay, and here I'm using the Memento Dandelion ink along with the Tim Holtz Honeycomb stencil. And I chose the yellow because uh, it just really went with the collect paper collection really well. And I really like the bright color of that yellow. And I'm just going around through the canvas sporadically placing that honeycomb stencil. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and grab some cut apart cards and kind of cut these apart. Um, I wanted to use one for the layout, so I'm just kind of breaking them apart and seeing which ones I like. <laughs> then I went ahead and cut out one of the tulip pattern paper. I love this collection because of the photos that I'm using in this uh, layout. I think they go really well. And then I went ahead and tore the bottom of that and inked it up again with the dandelion ink. And we're going to go ahead and place that on top of a piece of yellow sheet of cardstock um, because I thought it would bring out a little bit more color on that. I went ahead and tore the bottom of the yellow paper as well just to go along with, uh, with the torn piece that I put on top. And I really love yellow for spring. I just love <laughs> spring and it's my favorite season. And so this was just so fun to make this page. I just absolutely loved it. So here I'm cutting a piece of cut yellow cardstock uh, to back the photo up on top of that. Um, I really think it'll bring out some of the background paper as well. So here is where I kind of start doing a little bit of layering, uh, and I really liked that butterfly paper. I thought it was so cute, and so I wanted to stick that behind the photo. I really like this collection. The colors are so bright and colorful and springy, and they just speak to me like, you know, happy. <laughs> Happy vibes. So uh, here I'm doing some layering and stuff and um, some of the I didn't think I don't think I added some of the layers to this so uh, so as you know as a crafter we constantly change our mind on what we're gonna do to our layouts uh, whether it's card making or scrapbooking or whatever and so I was just playing around to see what I wanted to do I finally ended up laying down that blue sheet of paper and now I'm adding my honeycomb uh, die cuts that I cut out and for this um, little 
challenge that I'm in, uh, some of the elements are very specific. So we had to have um, die cuts or we had to have honeycomb uh, on the page. We had to have metal. We had to have brads. Um, I think that, um, I can't remember what else. Oh, we needed a stamp or some stamps on here. And so there's a whole list of things that we had to get done to be eligible for the challenge for our team. And so I just was adding a bunch of different things on here that I thought would be fun for this layout. The other thing that we needed, which I forgot to add, was sequins. And I don't use sequins unless it's in a shaker, uh, you know, uh, for shaker cards or something. And so to use some um, sequins for this layout was really, uh, you know, challenging. Um, and I am kind of glad because it really opened up a lot of possibilities to use my sequins. And I really had a fun time with this. Uh, the next thing you see here is me laying down some washi tape, which I don't use at all either. And uh, so to use, uh, you know, I don't really have that much washi tape. So to find some washi tape in my stash was very challenging anyway, but to use it on a layout was even more challenging. And, but I think I did a pretty good job uh, putting this together using all of the elements that we needed, um, even the metal butterfly. The next step that we needed was to use a stamp and so I thought why not use some of my tulip stamps since I haven't used these in a very long time and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I grabbed my colored pencils and I just started coloring away and I really felt it so relaxing to finally just sit down and color and just kind of do something different. Uh, so I don't get to color very often. I'm, I'm mostly doing just, you know, paper manipulations, um, like, you know, or card making, um, folios or, or albums or, you know, different things that use the papers that, you know, that I have in my stash. So to use my stamps was a really nice change. While coloring, I just went ahead and used the different colors of pink, the different color of yellows, and blended them together and along with the green. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these out and so I can lay these down on the page. Just like that. I think that looks so cute. And I was going to put those on top, but then I thought, yeah, I kind of like them. I mean, on the bottom, but then I kind of liked them on top. So I think either a war would have really worked. Um, I don't think it would have mattered, but I really liked how they looked on top. Next, I went ahead and decided to get a stamp, uh, a word stamp, and go ahead and stamp that down and use that as well. Okay, so now I'm just using my Misty, and I'm going to stamp my words, and I picked a couple of different words because I couldn't decide which words to use So from this stamp set. And so... This stamp set I haven't used at all, ever. And so it was a perfect opportunity for me to use this stamp set. And I just had a great time using this. I um, also used the little um, stamp press on there. Uh, and that is by Sweet Sentiments. And I'll put the link down below for you in case you're interested in that. I do find the little stamp press very handy because I don't have to press very hard when I'm stamping, which uh, really helps my hands a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> if you are interested, I, again, I will put the link down below for you. And that is the second word that I picked, which is enjoy every day. Okay, next I'm just cutting out a cut apart card. And I thought I might use it, but then I don't think I did. But um, I'm cutting this out to stick my words on. And then here I decided to cut out my words, but I needed to straighten out the beautiful, uh, just cut it down a little bit more straight there. So I just stuck it in my trimmer and uh, put some tape on that and cut it out. So uh, it would be a little bit more straight on the edges so there we go and then um, I went ahead and cut out the 
every day. And I cut that in pieces um, because I didn't want the full word on there. So I went ahead and cut those down a bit. Uh, and I thought that those would look like super cute on that cut apart card. But it just didn't turn out like I thought it would. Um, so I think I ended up scratching this idea um, and doing something else. So, uh, so I went ahead and fussy cut out each of the words. And then in the other word, every the word every and the word day, I went ahead and cut in between each letters to give it kind of an indented look. I really like how it turned out. So uh, I will show you here in just a bit how it turned out and I'll give you a close up on that, on how each word looked. Alrighty, so next uh, what I did is I went ahead and grabbed the other beautiful, <laughs> the word beautiful, and I fussy cut that out um, because I just didn't really, I don't know, I just liked that pink better. I think it matched better than the other pink that I had. Um, and then I went ahead and backed those words up on top a, of a pattern paper because I wanted to do something different. So. Uh, here we go, changing our mind again. So this is why it takes me so long to craft you guys. <laughs> so, um, cause I'm constantly changing my mind. So I went ahead and made those into like little flags instead of just a straight, you know, border around the word. And, um, then same thing with the little word day. So then I backed those little board, those little words up to another pattern paper. So I had a pink and a yellow border around the word, and then I went ahead and added some foam tape to the back to pop them up. Uh, went ahead and stuck those down right there on the bottom part of the layout, and I think these turned out so cute. I really like how they turned out. Um, then I really wanted the word beautiful to stand out a little bit more. So I grabbed my wink of Stella and just kind of traced around uh, on top of the word. And um, it added a little bit of sparkle on there. Not as much as what I wanted, but it did add a little bit more on there. And um, yeah, so I just left it like that. Let it dry and then I added another coat on top of it. Let it dry and then added another coat. Um, so it was really, really sparkly. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you could tell in the video, but it is pretty sparkly. So the next thing I did was I just added some foam tape to the back of my flowers because I wanted to give them like kind of like a 3D effect. And so I went ahead and popped just the flower part up with the foam tape and left the the stems down on top of the paper. So I think it really looked cute. Again, here I'm adding more Wink of Stella to the word just to kind of give it a little bit more sparkly. And next I'm gonna grab some more of my sequins and I'm just gonna place those uh, around the page. Uh, again, like I said, usually I don't use my sequins. I usually just use them for my shaker bits in, you know, in my shaker cards and stuff, <laughs> or, or, um, or shaker embellishments, and I don't usually use them, you know, solo like this uh, in a in a scrapbook page or even on my cards, uh, but I really had a good time uh, just being challenged and, you know, using things in a different way that would open it up uh, to uh, using my stash in a different way. I really am happy that I, I found this group, Bash Your Stash, because they really challenge you to get out of your comfort zone and use the things that you have around you. So it is a great group if you're wanting to do any scrapbooking um, and get ahead of that or start <laughs> getting back into it or whatever. Um, this is a great group. They are so friendly and really encouraging. They also do motivation or motivate me Mondays or something. And I haven't done any of those yet, but I plan on it. And they post something every Monday that have prompts so you can use them on your scrapbook page. And they are super fun. I've seen a few layouts and they are really, really nice. So hope you get to join us. Okay, y'all. Okay, so there is our finished page. I think it turned out pretty cute. So I popped this up with some foam tape. 
so that is kind of like uh, raised up a little bit. And then I popped up some of these little tulip um, flowers uh, on some foam as well. And um, so, yeah, so there is everything. I think it turned out super cute. So thank you guys for joining me so much. And you guys take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining me today, y'all. Down below, I have some more fun crafty videos for you to view. Don't forget to please like, subscribe, and comment, and hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming videos, tutorials, and events.